The first time I ever climbed a tower crane, I think I ran up the machine. The excitement just carried me up the ladder so fast. Each step leads Isabella Lopes to what she calls her second home, 180 feet high in the sky. Christmas lights I string up and I wrap all my surfaces in something cute. The 22-year-old's career path has taken lots of mentorship and persistence. I didn't necessarily get large amounts of support from the men in my life at the time. They were worried about the treatment that I would receive. I have had nothing but support from the people that I work with. And I find this industry is actually very open to women. Lopes hopes more young women take the leap into the trades like her. People are realizing that women are capable of doing the same jobs that men are doing, although we have different strong suits. Chelsea Gill can relate. There's two females out of 87 techs. The space buzzes with radars, radios, and focused minds, and Gill is a technologist for these air traffic controllers in BC. For nine or seven. Air Canada 191, Victoria Terminal, good afternoon. She makes sure the equipment is running smoothly for pilots to communicate with these controllers and navigate the sky safely. She was the first woman in two of the departments here. You have to work twice as hard just to make sure people view you as the same, but I'm thankfully very lucky to have the team that I have here. She also hopes more women consider her field. For others, breaking barriers has meant creating a unique space for women and children to thrive under one roof. People can't use workspace if they don't have childcare. A lot of the time people can't access mental health support services because they don't have childcare. In one space, there is childcare, offices, mental health services, and more. Equity is creating a space that's intentionally designed for women to meet their needs in order for them to thrive. Parents and guardians pay different membership fees for their needs. I'm a comic book creator and colorist, and so I was working from home and had no resources to help me take care of my baby when I became a mother. I feel like, yes, I'm not alone. Whether it's creating spaces like this or going to new heights, these changemakers hope to see more opportunities for women to succeed and be supported. Beneath Breach, CBC News, Vancouver.